I'm just devastated that it took so long. And I've always said to the police, there's hundreds of victims out there and you're never going to find them because the mothers are in on it. I sent me the pictures of a little girl taken in his bedroom. They were not pornographic. She was holding a picture towel which had my picture on it. On that picture towel was a razor blade and a line of what appeared to be coke. She had a rolled up note. He started telling me about all the young fans underage fans that he had abused described one of them turning up in a school uniform she'd bumped off school turned up in a school uniform she was 14 years old he said this is one of my favorite videos i've got he said she strips off a school uniform and i get her to say her name and date of birth to the camera i don't know what he'd already done by then because i still don't know but in my mind he wouldn't have gone on he wouldn't have got so cocky and so oh i've got away with it before I'll just push it and see how much I can get away with. And he was getting off on that. Every time I went to the police, he was getting off on the fact that I was made to look like an idiot. At the end of the interview in November last year, they said, Joanne, we've already arrested Ian. And I just said, you're four years too late. Because if they'd have done something in 2008, he never would have, he never would have done anything. I was getting all this abuse, and I'm still getting abused by people, just because. Just because I did everything to protect my son and try and protect other people's kids. He opens his laptop and he said, I've got something to show you. And he starts playing this video and it's horrific. And I could feel the tears pricking in my eyes. And he was looking at me the whole time. He had such a sinister grin on his face. And he was looking for a reaction. I obviously wasn't giving him the reaction that he wanted. I just said to him, just get out. Real radio.